as we move forward over the next couple of weekends, Jason, who are the hot targets? So there, there, there's a couple um, that, that have fairly um, quick commitment time. So, um, so Caden Green is an offensive lineman um, out of Lee Summit North High School um, in Lee Summit, Missouri. A pretty heavy OU lean. I think he's, he's even canceled a couple of his visits that he has um, upcoming. I think he, he's actually going to announce his decision on July the 8th. So has been to Oklahoma a couple of times for an official visit. Was here at Oklahoma um, during the the Sooners barbecue that that they had. Um, you know, really one of the better um, offensive tackles in the country. Number twelve ranked overall, four star guy, six five three ten. So he's the guy again here in the next few weeks that Oklahoma. I, I think all signs are are pointing to Oklahoma there. Um, Staying on the offensive line, so I've got a, another offensive lineman, Peyton Kirkland uh, from Orlando, Florida, number 25 ranked overall tackle. Um, you know, he's, he's probably, I would say at this point, Mark, you know, specifically obviously being from Orlando, he's got Miami and Florida in the, in the mix there. I say Florida probably leads a little bit, but Oklahoma's making a really, a really big charge here over the last couple, two or three weeks. So it'll be interesting on him. He actually makes his decision on July 23rd. Um, so a little bit here before, before school kind of gets started. And, and, and I think that's something that you, that you'll, you'll see overall. Um, a couple of in-state products that are, that are going to be interesting for Oklahoma fans to, to watch. Um, Jacoby Johnson. He's again, he's another athlete, 6'3", 183. Um, he's from Mustang high school, in Mustang, Oklahoma. Um, he's a number, number five ranked athlete, number three, in, in the country, number three overall in the state of Oklahoma. Um, Alabama and Michigan are, are a couple that folks that are in the mix, but very, very high on Oklahoma's list as well. Um, Cole Adams is another kid. He's from a little bit closer to me here in the Tulsa area in Owasso High School uh, in Owasso, Oklahoma. Wide receiver 5'10, 180. Um, I, I think he's a little bit more of an explosive Drake Stoops, if you, if you will. Um, you know, maybe a little bit taller, obviously, at that 5'10", but um, still one of the number 40 overall wide receiver in the country, top five um, in the state. Again, you see, a, I think Alabama has had a lot of success kind of recruiting Oklahoma kids over the last few years. So Alabama's in the mix, Arkansas's in the mix as well. Um, and then just kind of going nationally, uh, Tyler Turner, a safety from uh, San Antonio, Texas, number 33 ranked safety overall in the country. Um, all in all of these kids that I've mentioned thus far um, are all four star kids, Mark. Um, so um, I think Oregon and Baylor is probably the two biggest competitors for, for with Oklahoma for his, for his services. Um, and I think probably one of the biggest um one of the biggest, I, I think, targets that Oklahoma has on the defensive line is, is Derek LeBlanc. He's, um, again, a Florida kid from Kissimmee, Florida, number seven ranked defensive lineman in the country. Um, again, I think Florida's probably a team that leads for him, but I think Oklahoma is very, very much in the mix there, um, along with Penn State and Miami and a couple of other ones. That, um, and then two more just – to, to keep your eyes on if you're Oklahoma that I um Jaquazy Pedaway, he's a, a wide receiver, number eight ranked overall wide receiver in the country, um, number eight overall in the state of Texas, top fifty overall kid. Um, I think it OU is in, in the mix here with obviously with a with a few others. Ole Miss, Texas, LSU, Ohio State are, are also in the mix with him. And then I think the last one here that I'll mention in this and I know Mark, I'm going to absolutely butcher this kid's name. Um, Adapoje Adabawari, I think is you know, that's my that's my attempt. Um, so anybody can, if they if they know it a little bit more than me here, they can make a comment if I b butchered his name. But they can make a comment, Jason, in the chat that they can do it. But can they actually deliver? You know, <laughs> all sorts of people because I'm staying away from that one too. Um, I think Oklahoma is a really good shape here, um, Mark. I, I think it's probably between Oklahoma and Northwestern. Interesting battle here. It's not, you know, it's not a for for a kid out of Kansas City, Missouri, having uh, 
battling a Big Ten school like Northwestern in that area is kind of kind of interesting. Um, I, I think it's a little bit of a lean, probably meant more of maybe a 60, 65 percent OU. Um, but again, 6'4", 240 edge rusher. Um, as I mentioned, Kansas City, Missouri, number 12 overall edge rusher in the country, top 100 overall kid. Um, so those are just a few for, for Oklahoma fans to, just to kind of keep their eyes on from a recruiting standpoint here. Um, as we, as, as you mentioned, Mark, as we approach the dead period here at the, at, towards the end of June. I've got to think based on his ranking, his position, his location in the country, that Caden Green, now nobody is a must get. People ask that all the time. Who is who do you have to get? Well, if you're Oklahoma, you better have options. If you can't get this offensive tackle, we're going to get these two other offensive tackles. And sure, we want the guy that's ranked fifth in the country, but we'll take the guy that's ranked 15th in the country because he's really good too. And so you, you got to have a backup plan and you've got to have options and be talking to multiple players at multiple positions. But I got to think based on the heavy lean by all the crystal ball predictions, a Missouri player offensive tackle and the 12th rated, a top 100 player and 12th rated at his position, that Caden Green would be the one guy that would be a major disappointment if they didn't land him. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I agree. And I think, I mean, it, I think it would be a shocker at this point, um, just how pro um, Oklahoma he's been. I think Michigan was a team that was in the, was, was in the loop and he's kind of canceled that, um, Cancel that. Probably between OU and Nebraska at this point, I would say Nebraska is probably a distant third or distant second uh, um, here. Yeah, but just as as, as pro OU as, as he as he has been in some of the OU commits that um, are already committed in the twenty three cycle, such as Joshua Bates, who has really been um, very close to him and, and with his recruiting, I I, I would. I, I tend to agree with you, Mark, with, with, with him. He would be the, the, the next guy that I would anticipate, um, you know, verbally into Oklahoma. And if he doesn't, I think that would be a real, uh, certainly a big disappointment and a big surprise.